Hello, welcome to my Rush tutorial. Uh, this part is just going to be focused on the very, very basics. So if you've never played Rush before, hopefully this helps you. Uh, basically, if you look at that screen, you might see a lot of information. But the one you really want to focus on at the beginning of your game is that thing on the left. It says, two more to light. Now, you may ask, two more what? Uh, that is the record. So, see all the little flashing circles that are all blinking around here. There's one in front of the ramp, the spinner, the dead end. There's actually one on the upper loop, left orbit, right orbit. You hit any of those blinking circles of any color. Doesn't matter what color it is. That will give you one record. If you get two records, it will light a planet mode so you can see all the little um, modes in the middle here and the, the one that it lights depends on which color you hit so if you have two um, dark blue records you know then like Spear of the Radio would start but let's not worry about that for now just focus on hitting any two records there's one All right, we got two. Ready to take the jump. So now you can see the the time machine raised because I'm on a premium, and that now if you take a look, the red light is flashing on top of the time machine. Red light indicates a mode is ready to start. So you can see right there. You can also um, look at the uh, UI panel and in the upper left it says working man collect more records to boost record value so I can either start this mode by hitting the time machine or I can keep hitting more circles again of any color as long as they're blinking so what's what people get caught up on is this um, dead end shot has a solid record on it so hitting that will not get me a record only the flashing circles will get you records. Um, the wh What's happening right now, how every arrow is blinking, that's actually telling me the next shot I hit will give me a rainbow record on that shot. So, for instance, right now, I have a pink record on the dead end, but if I hit it, whoop, it actually stays. There we go. Now, the record, I don't know it, if you can see on the screen, but it's its rainbow. Now, what, what is important is that rainbow is not flashing. It's just changing colors to tell you it's a rainbow. So if I could hit this all day and it won't do anything. It's not, it's not building my records. It's not giving me records, it's doing nothing. It's just telling me that the dead end shot is now all colors, uh, which, can matter for when you start your mode. Um, basically, it means well, the most important thing it means is it's a shot multiplier. So just remember, rainbows are shot multipliers. So if um, anytime I shoot that dead end shot, I'm getting double scoring essentially on anything. So if I start a multi ball and hit a jackpot on the dead end shot, because it has a rainbow, it's going to be double scoring. Um, so right now, like I said, oh, also, instant info. I have the ball trapped, right? Instant info shows up. If I hit the flippers, I can scroll through. It will never auto-scroll, so you can take your time looking at all these. And what's cool is, if you hold both, it will exit instant info, and now you will permanently stay on this screen. So you can watch your music video, you can look at the different uh, UI instructions. Um, and so that's a, a good thing to know. So right now, we have Working Man lit if I shot the middle. Um, or I can keep collecting records. Now, because I have Working Man lit, it behooves me to collect more records of that color. But I could hit any record. I could hit any, any color record I want. And that will boost Working Man once it starts. But if I hit this orange record, I'll show you what happens if I hit it. 
All right, looks like it moved on me. So the records will move um, if you accidentally, if you hit the rush targets, they'll, they'll move. Um, or anytime you hit a record that's blinking, it will move. So now it's on the ramp. So if I hit the ramp, again, if. All right, so now, and you notice I hit the left orbit as well. So let's see if I can wrap up here. All right, so I still have Working Man lit, and if you look on the display, it says plus 20%. So my, I'll get a little more points when I start Working Man. But what's interesting is because I have an orange record, I also have a blue record. But what really matters is the orange record here, because when I start the mode, now that orange record stays locked on, and it tells me that all shots <laughs> well, I'm sure you've experienced the old start a mode and drain. Um, but basically, I just wanted to show you that when I started the mode, that record stayed on. And that's because during a mode, records of that color score double. So if you're playing a mode and you see you have a circle on a shot, uh, that shot will be double for mode points. Um, and remember, the rainbow records are just double for all shots modes, multi-balls, everything. Uh, so yeah, that's that's basically how modes work. You you hit some records, you hopefully get the right colors, but you don't need to. Um, now, if you do get all six records the same color, or remember rainbows are all colors, if you manage to match all six, then you'll actually get triple, triple mode scoring on those shots. Uh, so that can be a huge deal. Although, I wouldn't really focus on that at the beginning too much, unless you really want to blow up the game. But later on in the game, it's actually pretty easy to do because there's less modes and less colors to worry about. So that's why your later modes can be worth a lot more points. Um, after you... So you notice the rainbow, right? Last ball. How do you get the rainbows? Well, when you light a mode for the first time on each ball, it will give you a rainbow opportunity. So you'll notice if I light another mode here by hitting two records, On record. Two records. Now you can see all my shots are lit up for those rainbows again. So if I hit this, whatever my whatever the next shot is, that's the rainbow. Now, if you drain here, you lose that rainbow. So it's actually very scary because if you drain your next ball, you're not going to start with your play field. You're not going to start with a rainbow record. And because I have a moat lit on my next ball, I can't light a moat because it's already lit. So I, I won't have access to the rainbow uh, until you complete a moat. That's, that's the other way that you can get a rainbow is every time a moat finishes, you'll see all these light up again and you have a chance to get a rainbow record again. Okay, so I'm gonna try to put this rainbow somewhere. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, and uh, so now that ramp is double. So if I start a multi-ball, any shot on that will be uh, double scoring. Or any shots for anything. Really. So I started Tom Sawyer. Let's just try to try to see if I can actually beat the mode here for you. I'll show you. You got two. Now so. You'll notice in the upper left corner on the screen, it says your progress. There's actually a progress bar. You see the top left, there's a little blue, here, let me exit that again. There's a little blue bar. So it's it's about a, a quarter of the way there right now. Um, and it also tells me my next award value is gonna be worth three million. It also tells me I'm in phase two out of three. 
Um, but that 3 million is before any multiplier. So if I hit that right ramp, since there's a rainbow on it, it will be double. So it'll actually be around 6 million. That's one. So if I hit the ramp, actually, I'm going to put the diverter on because I want to show you that the dead end shot, which also has a, see how the dead end has a solid uh, turquoise? It has a, a record light right there. Boop. So that shot is also double uh, as far as Tom, Tom Sawyer is concerned. The right ramp is double for all shots. So if you had a multiple jackpot there, it would be double. But it's... The, uh, the dead end is double only for Tom Sawyer. So if I shoot the ramp, it's going to divert. If I shoot the ramp. Woo! That was cool. Man, when you need it, right? Well, I'm just giving you the realistic experience, right? There we go. So now if I hit Tom at the dead end, it will be 3 million times 2. Boom, 6 million. So you can see how the... That's that's what the records do. If you have colors of the mode you're in, they're double for the mode. If you have a rainbow, they're double for everything. And you just need any of them flashing to light your modes. And you can keep building your modes if you want. And you can even build your modes during multi-ball, too. Um, I guess I'll just play out the rest of the ball and see if I can beat the mode. And if I can, and then you'll get to see another uh, rainbow. All right, I stacked the multi-ball, so that's cool. So you'll actually notice the right ramp is, uh, since it has the rainbow, so it looks like my jackpot was 500,000, 550,000. So I expect my next shot, my right ramp, would be 600 times two. Jackpot. Boom, 12, 1.2. So that's, that just shows you kind of how the um, how the shot multipliers work. Now let's see if I can beat this, um, this mode. So I still have Tom Sawyer going on. Okay, that's fine. It looks like I need my side ramp and my right orbit. Whoa, that's cool. I can play three keyboards and a bass, and you can't even hit the ball. Trying to tip it up into that spinner. There we go. All right, now the right orbit. Boom. All right, so I beat the mode, and now you see all the rainbows. So that's a good indication that you beat your mode, is you see all the rainbows come up again. And now you look on the screen, and it says three more to light. So now I can start working towards my next mode. If I put this rainbow on the spinner, now I have two rainbows. I have a rainbow on the spinner and a rainbow on the right ramp. So if, uh, now they're actually, instead of double, they're actually triple, because I have two rainbows. If you had three rainbows, they'd be quadruple. So, uh, now if I started a mode or got a multi-ball, I'd really want to focus on those two shots, because they're triple, um, until you drain. Once you drain, your rainbows go away, unfortunately. Um, but that's about it. So, modes, just hit the blinking circles. Um, the only thing I didn't show is... Um, we'll, we'll see if I can show it. So if you get all the records, then they will all uh, come back on again. So you can keep building. So I need the right. Oh, and this is interesting. So my right ramp is actually blinking. So you can see it's a rainbow and it's blinking. So it's, it's a record like anything else. Um, so I need to hit it to 
to light my moat. Tio says one more to light. The spinner is not blinking. It is solid. It's just rainbow solid. And the ramp is blinking rainbow. So hitting the spinner will not get me a record. Only blinking records will advance you towards the moat. So if I can hit... There we go. Hey, Alex, the time machine is ready. So now I need the uh, right orbit. Actually, let's get the upper loop. Five, four, ah, three, well, two. I can show you next ball. It'll be easier without the uh, the rainbows anyway. So right now you can see I, I, I need the upper orbit, the left orbit, and the right orbit. I already have my mode lit, which is available at the time machine, but I want to show you how to build build your records. I'm trying to hit the left orbit. Ah, I, I bailed out on accident. So I'm actually going to end this game just because I want to show you show you what happens if you get all six. I guess this would be easier with the glass off. Alright, there's two records. Three records. Drums. does it all right new plan this will also help show a potential strategy I'm actually going to start the game and uh, just try to get into a multi ball because that's the other thing about records is you can build them at any time as long as you're not you know in a mode so if I just go after this multi ball right away so I started a multi-ball, I didn't start with a mode, but if you notice, during my multi-ball, the records are still active. You see them all blinking, right? So I can I can cash those in during my multi-ball. Then when I come out of the multi-ball, I'll have a mode lit. And probably boosted pretty high. Bore it before the cops catch up. So I need the right orbit. So you can see I have, oh, and the upper loop. So let's try to get, well, that would actually stay up there. Okay. All right, so I can show you now. I have a purple record on the left orbit, a green record on the upper loop, Orange on the dead end, rainbow on the spinner, blue on the right ramp, and I have a green flashing on the right orbit. So if I hit that, we felt that. Don't tilt. Alright, I changed it. It's now um, pink, but I wanna I wanna change it again. I wanna show you what happens if you match. Let me hit it. All right, so now it's orange. All right, so I have orange on the dead end, blinking orange on the right orbit. All right, I can finally show you what I wanted to show you, which is I hit all six records, and now you can see they're back to blinking again. And if you look on my screen, I have plus 40%. If I hit another record, it will go to plus 50%. And there's no limit to how big you can build before starting a mode. But also notice, um, the dead end and the right orbit are actually pulsing. The reason they're pulsing is because they're matched. So I hit all six records, but it kept the two that matched. So that now, no matter how much I hit the rush targets or hit other records, nice. those two will not change. I'll handle so the if I hit, and base, you know, this, you handle the pinball. 
if I hit like the left orbit. If. That's one. You can see I still have uh, the oranges there. So that really helps you get um, records that are the same. So now I can hit my right ramp, get an orange record. Lock a ball in the top scoop. Now I got an orange record on my upper loop. So this is the advanced the right strategy. Ramp. The first part of the tutorial was the basic record mode strategy. And now I'm showing you kind of the, into the weeds. So if I hit the upper. So I got working man plus 70%. Um, I've got three records that are all pulsing. What I would like to do is also get the record on the upper loop to be orange. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, it happens to everybody, right? So if you ever feel like you're having a bad day, I'm trying to Try to basically play as greedy as possible. Try to get all the records the same color, and then I can show you one more one more thing. So I'm trying to hit the rush targets to change. There we go. Now my upper left, my inner loop, is now orange. So I can. There we go. Now I need. I, uh, all right, well, you can see kind of what I was going for. Basically, pick and choose your records. Once you get all six, it'll lock in the ones that are the same, so then you don't have to worry about those ones anymore. And if you just keep doing that, eventually you can get all your records the same color. Um, the only other thing I didn't mention is which mode will start, which is based on which one has the most records. But there is a way to change it. So if... If... Um, I hit the upper loop. Okay, you can see I have one record and it's orange, so Working Man is lit. Uh, if I hit the left orbit, that one's pink, and pink is big money. And then I'll have one orange and one pink. And the tiebreaker is whatever is furthest to the left. So this would change my mode, essentially, to big money. Now I can go back to working man here if I actually shoot the left orbit again it's going to turn that pink into a rainbow and the rainbow doesn't count for anything or it counts for everything so now you can see I'm back to working man because the only actual color I have is orange which is on my upper loop now if you want to change your locked in records and therefore change which mode starts and you and you, you you don't have records that are convenient, or maybe you have three that are all the same color, but you don't like that color. You can actually shoot behind the drop targets. So yeah, hopefully you learned a bit about uh, modes, how to light them, how to start them, multipliers, records, all that good stuff, and you know now the basics of uh, the mode system of Rush. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more videos.